To the rest of the world, the kilt is one of the images of Scotland. And there's even a saying, a man in a kilt is a man and a half. I must admit, I feel a bit strange not wearing any trousers, but I'm kilted up and ready to go. Traditional kilts have been around a very long time, but these days they're only really worn on special occasions like weddings and Highland Games. There are plenty of shops selling kilts in Edinburgh, but I'd heard about one which is a bit different. I met Howie Nicholsby, who runs 21st Century Kilts. Howie, we're both sat here in skirts. Yep. Some Scots might be offended by that, but really, personally, I know a kilt is a skirt. It's uh, what we call unbifurcated. It means there's no crotch. Right. And really, going back in history, that's what men should wear. You go Greeks, Romans, Egyptians, um, African tribes, samurai warriors. It was all very loose. But why do you rate kilts so much? Why do you like wearing them? It's just very comfortable. And it's six and a half, seven years since I've really worn trousers, and I don't think I could go back now. But you're wearing a kilt like I've never seen a kilt being worn before. You're just wearing it with normal stuff. I suppose this is more traditional, formal. Oh, you look like you're going to a wedding. All right. We're going to get in something a bit funkier. Great. The most frequently asked question about the kilt is, what does a Scotsman wear underneath it? The answer, of course, is nothing. But I'm from Cardiff, so I'm wearing my rugby shorts. It was handy that I brought my rugby shorts as Edinburgh...